Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the teachings of the faith, such as doctrine. Today, can you form arguments based on doctrine? Forming arguments based on true doctrine is a tricky thing to justify, because so many people assume that doctrine is untrue. So it's important to remember that all we're about to say only applies to doctrine that we know is accurate. If the doctrine can be proven to be false or to not be from God, then we're not obligated to obey it. Only the true will of God can form doctrine correctly. The first major obstacle to using doctrine as part of an argument is that even if we use it in an argument, it's still just another reasoned argument and is more like philosophy than doctrine. After all, a good, well-reasoned argument would make faith useless, wouldn't it? Think again. Faith is required, even in the face of a hundred good arguments. If you need some evidence of this, just study some of the responses given by atheists to the arguments for the existence of God. While some have counter-arguments that sound convincing, many do not. So, what goes through their heads? If they can't present any good reasons not to believe in God, why would they be atheists? Simple. It's because even the best arguments in the world won't make faith unnecessary. You won't believe anything unless you have the willingness to believe it, no matter how good the evidence is. Because of this, we know that even when doctrine is able to give us good, well-reasoned arguments, that doesn't make faith useless. But isn't doctrine just presenting an argument from authority? Wouldn't that be a fallacy? Well, no, not in this case. An appeal to authority is when a person claims that because an authority figure thinks something, it must therefore be true. This is a fallacy because no matter how powerful or smart an authority figure may be, they can still be wrong, just like anybody. The reason why this doesn't apply to doctrine is simply the nature of the authority being appealed to. For any human authority figure, it would indeed be a fallacy. But this is God we're talking about, and among other things, he's omniscient. He knows everything. It's logically impossible for him to be wrong about anything, and therefore to appeal to him for information is not a fallacy. Some people say that human reason is inadequate to understand the truth about God, but in arguments based on doctrine, we're not depending on human reason to learn about God. Rather, we're depending on God to help teach us deeper truths through human reason. Remember, the doctrine comes from God, not from our own imaginations. So, there just aren't any good reasons to think that we can't form arguments based on doctrine, and as long as the doctrines are true, there are good reasons to think that arguments based on them will have a firm ground to stand on. Now that we've gone over the basics of faith and doctrine, it seems like a good time to start exploring the nature of God. So, next time, is the existence of God self-evident? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.